Cucumber Soup. Okay, hello. Today we're going to make homemade hamburger soup. And it's pretty unique to our family. I haven't really seen any other recipe quite like it. And we're going to add some healthy ingredients to it and kind of disguise it so their kids don't really realize it's healthy. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And we'll start off with uh, six cans of tomato soup, small cans of tomato soup. Just pouring those in there, and if you don't if you got, uh, you can use any kind of tomato base you want to really. If you got uh, tomatoes, you can dice them up and kind of puree them if you want, or if you have leftover spaghetti sauce. Uh, just kind of any kind of tomato base you want to start out with, you know, and you can adjust it how you like. And then uh, equal parts of water to the soup. So I put six cans of soup, so I'm going to put six cans of water, two, three, four, five, and a little bit short. six. Stir that a little bit. Kind of mix that up. And go ahead and turn my burner on. I'm going to get it going good. Turn it up kind of high to get it going. And to that, I'm going to add some lentils. This is about a half a pound of lentils that I've pre-soaked so they would cook quicker and lentils cook really quick anyway so these will cook up probably in less than a half hour so I'm putting those on in there and I have some spinach it's, you know like a small bag of spinach it's, Then to that, let me stir that up a little bit. I'm gonna put what's called Maraqua. And what that is, the way we make it, we make it a little different, but it's basically usually onions and celery and either carrots or uh, sweet bell peppers. This has got the carrots on this batch. And we usually make this up ahead of time. We'll Cut up a bunch of onions and carrots and celery, and then we freeze it. Freeze it in these little sandwich bags. Put, pop it in our freezer, and we'll have several bags to start off with. And you can just go get it out of the freezer whenever you're gonna make a recipe. And it, it's really handy to have it already cut up. And and uh, this Maraqua, this if you don't want to make it yourself. Uh, most grocery stores have it in their freezer section. They call it a seasoning mix. You know, it'll have it all the way chopped up, you know. But uh, we prefer to do it ourselves. That way we can kind of, you know, it's pretty economical to do. It just takes a little time, initial phase, but then when you go get it out of the freezer, it's, it's there. Now for the spices, I'm going to put about... About a teaspoon of garlic. You can uh, adjust that to taste. You know, we'll probably have to adjust that to taste later on. And then we'll put about a teaspoon of onion powder. about a teaspoon and a half of thyme, thyme leaves. So this is really a good spice to go with anything vegetable -y. It's 
It's got vegetables in it. And then uh, a little bit of salt, maybe a half a teaspoon of salt. You can adjust that. Uh, black pepper, round that up to about a teaspoon or so in that. And you know, you can always add later if you need more. If there's a go a little low on it now and then add to it. And then I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of sugar to kind of balance out the acidity in the tomatoes. And give that a little stir. So that's gonna be our soup base for our hamburger soup. Let that get cooking good. Now, I told you that we're gonna make this, kind of disguise this, and what we're gonna do after it cooks, cooks a while and the beans get cooked, we're gonna use an immersion blender and blend this all up and chop, and it'll chop up the beans and the spinach and that'll hide it from the kiddos. Okay, now we're uh, doing, getting our hamburger ready uh, for, for our hamburger soup. And this is really lean ground burger. It's probably at least 90 or 95% lean. Okay. And I'm gonna season it up some. I'm put you know, a little bit of garlic powder, about a half a teaspoon there. Not quite as much as I put in the soup base. Same thing with the onion powder, about a half a teaspoon. A little black pepper. And a little bit of thyme. Gonna brown that up, get it no longer pink or anything, and keep it both apart. Get that ready for our soup. Uh, our hamburger is brown now, so I'll turn that off and it's ready to go into the soup. Now our beans are done, and I've got out my immersion blender, and we're gonna put that in there and that'll make everything liquid. You just want to be able to deal with spinach and beans and all that in there. We'll do that so everything's liquefied. I'm gonna stir it a little bit, see what it looks like. Might go just a little bit more on that. We about got it. Got it. That's what it looks like. Pretty well pulverized. And uh, I did add a couple of tablespoons of butter because it was starting to stick. So I put a couple of tablespoons of butter in there to keep it from sticking. Well, so next thing we're going to add is our carrots. I've got about a pound of carrots that I've cut up. some about three pounds of potatoes red potatoes that I've cut up in pretty good sized chunks I 
had those soaking and setting in water, keep them fresh. Put them in there. Stir it up a little bit. I wanted my carrots smaller than the potatoes because they're they take longer to cook than the potatoes. Okay, now we got our hamburger. We'll put that in there. Hopefully there'll be room in our pot. It looks like it's gonna be. There's that. I'll turn the burner back on. Let it cook till the potatoes and carrots are tender. Now, if you want to add other vegetables, you can uh, later, you know, like corn or green beans or something, but they'll cook quicker. So you want to let, give it time for the potatoes and carrots to get pretty close to done before you add any other vegetables, you know, that, that cook quicker. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna let this cook Bring it back up to boil again, and probably take probably about 20 minutes for the carrots and the potatoes to get tender. And I'm gonna try a little of it to check my seasoning. And I think it needs a little more salt. So I'm gonna add some salt. Probably a good teaspoon. Maybe a little more. And we'll let that cook a little while and check it again, check my seasoning. I have to, in case I have to add any more, but like I said, we're gonna let it go about 20 minutes, you know, bring it up to a bowl and uh, get, you know, where the potatoes and carrots are tender and that'll be done then. This is my daughter, Rosie, and she's come in here to sample Hello. my soup. So okay. I'll let her get a little sample. Be careful, it's okay. really hot. I'm going to get that one. Oh, well, that was unexpected. It's Thumbs good. up. Thumbs up. It's I perfect. Think, I think it's a go. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Okay, I believe it's about done. I've turned it off. I'm going to give it a little stir. And then we'll get some in a bowl. A hamburger in there. And there you have hamburger soup. Healthy hamburger soup. And I hope you like this soup. I'll put the recipe, the ingredients in the comments and ask you to please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.